Today I'm going to share with you how to open a model from a tab bar. So now we are going to create a project. So now we created the project and so we can go inside the folder and then we also need to install this plugin because we are going to use the React navigation so we copy this command And also, we also need to use this one, master view. Because we are using expo, so we type expo install. And the third one is the save area contest. So we also need to expo install this one. So now the first step is to create the screens that we are going to use. So we create a folder called screens and then we create a home screen.js and also the post screen.js and also the profile screen and then we create the component here and we type home screen this is the same Remember, you can use this plugin ES7 so that you can simply type RNF and then create the code that you want. So now we also have to create some style so that the text will be at the center of the screen. So we create constant styles and since we need to use the style sheet so we need to import from the React Native So we already create a style so we can apply this on the wheel.
So this is the same for the post screen and also the home screen. We also need to apply the styles to the wheel. So we copy this one and paste it to the wheel. So we save it. Now we go back to the app.js and import the library from the we just installed it. So on the top of this app.js we import the create app container. From we add navigation. And also we import the create stack navigator from we add navigation stack. And also because we are going to create the tab bar, so we have to import the create bottom tab navigator. From we add navigation tab. Because we will also use the icon in the tab bar, so we will import the ion icons from the expo weather icon. Now we are going to import the home screen, post screen, and also the profile screen from the screens folder. Now because the style sheet is not used, so we can delete it. And now we are going to create the app container. So we create the default, create bottom tab navigator, and then we create a home screen. And the tab bar icon Now we can do the same for the other screen.
So we also change to RS at circle. And this will become the profile. And this is the profile screen. And we change the icon to person. And at last, because we already don't need to return a view here, instead we are going to return the create app container. So we can delete all this. And now we may try to start the app. It said that we haven't installed the React application stack, so we have to stop it. And then we install. Now we try again, and when we press A, we also need to install the we add navigation tab. We also need to add a style sheet for the other pages. So now if we click on the tab, you will see the content can change. So this is how to create a basic tab view. Now in this part, we are going to try to create a Moodle wheel, so we can try to put the option here. And the mode is Moodle, and the header mode is none. So we save this. And now you see there's no header, no matter which screen you are clicking on it. And now after the defaults, we also want to add a post model. And now we, after the screens, we also create some option. And this part, we are going to tell them that when the tab bar is pressed and when the key is equal to post, it will search the model, the post model that we just created. Otherwise, it will just keep the same. And also, we also set the tab bar options such that when this is active, it will become black, and when the tab bar is inactive, the icon will become gray, and the show label will be false. So when you look at the screen, you will see the icon only. There is no label here. And when we click on the post, it will become a Moodle screen, and there is no tab bar underneath. But there is a, something that we need to improve is there is no back button here. So now we are going to create a back button. So we create a button, so we need to import the button here.
So now you have a back button and go to the home page. And also you can still go to another page by clicking on the tab. Just when you click on the post, it will click on the it will push a model screen here. So this is how to create a model screen on the tab bar.